Fowler has been here many times. Jim Fowler is the host of Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom television series. Tomorrow he'll be appearing at the Feast of the Beast to benefit from the Boise, Idaho Zoo. Would you welcome Mr. Jim Fowler? <laughs> Starting off small, huh? That's right. Okay. This is kind of a... I know you don't like me to bring things out either in sacks or... Well, in you know, uh, you never know. Yeah. You know, after Jimmy Stewart, a guy who obviously uh, respects all forms he of does. life... In a way, I hate to show some of these creatures that we have tonight <laughs> because these are not necessarily the most attractive members of the right. animal world. Well, but not everything can be I Bambi, wanna, you know. I want to start off with this one in... We've got some paper towels back there because you might want to help me wipe this that's, off. That's a turtle. I want to show you some of these, one of the strangest creatures I've ever seen. And you know, what, uh, we've... <laughs> what is that, a factory second turtle? Or something? <laughs> Could you get a towel back there and help we'll wipe him off? I don't want to... I wouldn't want to hurt that desk. Oh, it's such don't. a nice cover on the desk there. Yeah. That's, the, that's <laughs> the weirdest turtle I've ever seen in my life. Wow. We're going to show several turtles tonight. And one of the things I want to tell you about this one is called a Mata Mata in South America. It lives in the Amazon rainforest. Doesn't that have to do with kill, mata? It means kill, kill. Kill, kill. <laughs> Very yeah. superstitious. But the thing is, it's what you call a side neck turtle. The neck comes what out of the shell like this. And it catches fish. And also, it's camouflaged so that the head looks like a leaf. Yeah, it Very does. Very strange. Yeah. And this is one of the strange forms of diversity. Or the find. eyes on this turtle. Or does well, it? they're very, very far forward. Can you see right there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that little snorkel is a thing it breathes with, but you can put your hand right there. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, you put your hand there, Jim. Uh, <laughs> well, it has no... Uh, yeah, I got a little of that finger missing, but it, it has no teeth. And it, the way it catches fish is to inhale the water. It sucks it in like a vacuum sweeper. Where, through the mouth? Right through the mouth. And the uh, fish go right in with the water and then expels it. But It's not a very attractive strange. turtle, is no. it? Not very attractive. It's, uh, but, you know, we on Wild, Mutual Walmart's Wild Kingdom, we filmed a lot of these. Yeah, okay. And these are, the Indians are very superstitious about them. We'll just leave him down there. For now, is there a yeah. turtle in that Now box? we've got one to really show you here, John. I don't I believe this is a turtle, folks. One of I've got a, somebody yeah. wanted me to put this box up here, right? You'll put the box up. We've got oh some... Oh, my God. Wow. We've got some <laughs> world, world records here tonight. And I... Woo! Ed, you may have to keep this box from All moving, because right. I've got to... This is not easy. Oh. Coffee over there, if you don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to have to bench press this. Because what, this the, is, uh, what the well, hell? Well, this is, is this is one, <laughs> this is one of the largest uh, turtles in the freshwater turtles in our country. It's called the alligator snapping turtle. In this country? In this country. This is the thing you sometimes go swimming with in the southeast around North Florida and Georgia. But watch, there's some fascinating things about it. Let me see if I can get him oh. open his mouth up. Look at that. Oh. Now, Johnny, wow. if, you'll, if you'll get that celery over there on the table. Oh, get out of here. No, there's a, there's a stick back here. You get that stick, OK? Because I want you to help me show you something here. Yeah. That's right. Now, listen. Hey, go get too close there. Now, look. The thing, I, the thing I want to show you, it has a fishing lure under the tongue. And if yeah. you'll put that celery in there, you'd lift the tongue up and keep your hand back. Whoops. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Let me go open his mouth. We're not... <laughs> you see what I mean? How would you like to be skinny dipping in the nude right. with this one? <laughs> What we want to do is see if you can get that tongue up again, because it's fascinating I'm doing to see. My best here. Oh, you're doing great. Oh. You're, I see you got a long piece of celery there. That's that's okay. When I stroke if it, you just touch the tongue. That's right. Oh. <laughs> that's all right. Well, I, I don't want to. Even a turtle like this, I don't want to stress it. I think we've made our point with okay, it. Okay, I think you have. This okay. is just... <laughs> This is the one it pays to have, uh... Okay, we're gonna get rid of that, because we're okay, gonna come we're up gonna and set him over, yeah. Stay where you are. Yeah.
Before we get to the big one, before we get to the, what we call the top of the line right. snake tonight. Well, we've got an example of a creature. you carry him with you? Well, <laughs> it's probably the safest way. You can always get a seat on a subway if you carry yes. these things around like this. But this is a, a python. Your dry cleaners must have <laughs> a great time. <laughs> This is right out of the egg, and I wanted to show you this because... This is a python? It's a python, and one of the most incredible oh, yeah. stories... I love reptiles. I wouldn't, wouldn't hold it too close to the head, because this, when they're young like this, they, uh, <laughs> they bite more rapidly than okay. they do when they're big. Enough said. Okay. But one of the most incredible stories was a story of a python that was found under a house in Fort Lauderdale that's been on the news lately. Right. Yeah. We've got a little film clip of that. Let's show the film clip. We got this from WTVJ, uh, NBC affiliate in Miami. Watch right. this. Nobody knew this snake was uh, living in Fort Lauderdale. Apparently this was released um, as a pet some yeah. years ago. Now, obviously it's very, there we are. Oh, there it is. Whoa. This had been living under a house, I guess nobody knows for sure how long, right? Right, no long. <laughs> it could have been 12 to 15 years. Was this, this house uh, occupied by people? It was occupied by family and the oh. kids, the kids had told the adults that they'd seen this thing occasionally and nobody believed them. <laughs> so uh, Todd uh, Hardwick from right. a group called Pesky Critters <laughs> were called to uh, go in there and catch the snake. So. We thought of all the places that we should show a big snake. It's the it's well, show you're going to see so. the snake that you've just yeah. seen on film now right. live. Wow! <laughs> That's just... I think we've got to do here. Uh, what do you? What's this wee stuff? Well, <laughs> this may, may be a world record. It's never been measured properly, so we're, we're going to measure it tonight, folks. Help! We're going to measure it. If you don't mind helping on the measure, I will do all of it. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> The turtle's probably more dangerous Todd, than this you'll... snake, right? This Hi, is Todd, Todd Hardwick you from Pesky Critters. You dug this thing out from under the house? And Todd's the one that went in and got it. You had to tunnel down, I understand. Uh, and, so uh, it took two days of tunneling and in, right into his lair. I'm going to be the head man and get over here, so we're going to have to have some help. Todd, if you'll get the other side, OK? What would be the weight? By of the this? way, Johnny, this is not this is not a very safe snake. We're going to have to handle this rather carefully. Right, so you, you do that. Uh, if we'll feed it out here, wait a minute. I want to go down here. You'll come down with me. I cannot believe. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. By the way, we're. I'm very concerned not to stress this snake. We're, yeah. We want to handle it very carefully. So. How uh, how much would this snake weigh? Well, it's over 200 pounds. I've never seen one. All right, let's see if we can stretch him now out. Let's about... stretch him out, Ed, John. you hold it on the oh, tail. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is Joe here. Wazalewski and John Loris oh, down the tail. <laughs> Johnny, if you'll get... Oh, wait a minute, we got to get the loops out of it. Straight <laughs> <laughs> What's the... Somebody's got to come help on this end. John, go ahead. Can you That's help? close enough. Let's try it once again. Real quick. All right. Wait a second. Come on, buddy. There we go. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. I don't want to attend. You know, when you had him out here, yeah. I had it on 20 feet, 2 inches. Okay, well, when you I stressed don't... him out before. I don't think we ought to stress him anymore. I don't want to stress him anymore. It's but... over 20 feet. Yeah. Now, the reason we're handling that snake that way is we want to get a good measurement, because it's quite rare to see one this big. I've never seen a snake that large no. in my life. What, what does he eat? Well, he's been... <laughs> what, how did he live? How did he live under the house? He's been raccoons. eating, apparently, raccoons. Uh, raccoons? Raccoons, and, uh... How often would a snake like this cost going back? It's, uh... <laughs> you got him? Yes, sir. This is... Uh... You can help on this if you'd like. No, thanks, Jim. <laughs> you, of... you guys are doing a marvelous job. <laughs> Luckily... <laughs> Oh, good. Okay. Anyway, the, the strength is incredible, obviously. It is. It really is. And I, guys, thank you very much. It is very rare. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have to do this. We're coming right back.